uh, welcome to seventh edition of Fake Ivan Short Film Festival. This is first competition program, Fake Bal. Uh, this, uh, the competition program consists from the countries that we used to have in Fake U in ex Yugoslavian competition program, but we added also four new countries from Balkans, which are Romania, Greece, Bulgaria, and Albania. Uh, we selected uh, our team selected 26 films that are competing and will be uh, judged by our international jury and jury of film critics. So I, I hope you will like the screening and after the screening we will have a short Q&A with the authors and the team from the film Armadillo. So enjoy the screen. you want to say with this film exactly? Well, nothing exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was... I actually made this film uh, as a therapy because I was... I spent uh, many years making another short film 
and it was taking so long that I just needed to do something really quickly. And so I sat down, wrote something that I could do with a small crew, few actors, but then I didn't really want to make the job too easy, so I decided to work with kids, and that was hard enough. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm happy with the result of working with them. Uh, so basically, yeah, there was nothing I really wanted to say with it. I wanted to do a, a small little story about how, how we, at that age, especially girls, uh, for boys it's, it's a normal, it's like a stereotype, like boys don't cry and all that, but girls really want to be like boys at that age, like many girls, and they, it's like tougher for them to like put that uh, uh, shell around them and then keep it on. So I guess that was, it wasn't a point, but that was like a leading emotion and feeling and idea behind it. Uh, you already mentioned uh, working with kids. Uh, the girl's face uh, is amazing. Yeah, ex expressive, amazing, uh, everything, many things. So, uh, uh, how, how did this? Uh, uh, how how did you choose her? How was working with this? How did you achieve this performance? Uh, well, um, well, actually, first I wrote the script. It was totally about the boy character, and then I started looking for the kids to play the characters, and I came across her and. Then I just switched to the, you know, it was no pointless to uh, focus on boys anymore after finding her. And that was totally random, I mean, not, not totally random, but we uh, surveyed a lot of schools and was, were looking for kids that didn't have any acting experience and they didn't have any acting experience. Actually, she didn't. He did something in theater, but uh, very small. And this was her first uh, film experience. So it was very lucky because uh, how often do you get something like that? But yeah, we did work, work a, a lot with them. I mean, I did, that was it was like a like full metal jacket drilling uh, with them. But yeah, I guess it was fun because they get to be not to go to school, so they were all up for that. Um, and uh, could you say something about the, uh, about the aspect ratio of the movie, which is uh, four, four to three? Uh, how come uh, you chose that? Well, well because it was a, it's a film of very few elements, so uh, expanding it would be like, what, what for? I mean, you would focus on something that's behind that it's not really related to the story, so... And we wanted to really uh, close her on, on her and uh, on her inner world, so it was it just made uh, sense to keep everything in, in the uh, in a format that was best for portraits. So that was basically what. I think we also have to mention that the director of photography was. Uh, yeah, uh, Lev Braden Kowalski, who is uh, unfortunately not here, but uh, uh, yeah, he's. Uh, from here and uh, did a great job. So, uh, Luca, I also have a question for you. So, what were the most challenging uh, things in this film for you? Actually, it was uh, searching the, for the crying sound of the child at the beginning. <laughs> because uh, you needed to say something like that is on the screen, but that is clear from the beginning what it is and there is a story how it got it actually uh, because <laughs> yeah because uh, uh, we casted two kids from her friend and we were trying like to make them cry or they tried to act to cry to fake cry and that didn't work like at the beginning and the smaller kid were, was playing in behind us and whatever and he fell over something and he started crying for real <laughs> and the parents figure out that we need that and they were like silent and we tried <laughs> to grab that and we used those parts. <laughs> That's really nice. So, Go Gorana, uh, do, uh, what are your next projects? What are you yeah, what you're preparing? We're, uh, right now, Luca, Lev and I are preparing a short documentary. Uh, we're shooting in September, so that's the... There's another film that's finished and will be out soon, but this is like what we're shooting now, documentary. Like in full, yeah, working a lot. Like oh yeah, one yeah. After another. A factory. <laughs> so.
So congratulations on your film thank you. and thank you for coming here. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you. <laughs>